Hello, folks, and we're back with another review of Thoughts On. Um, this one, you know, a TV movie uh, directed by, what, Lee Phillips, and it's based off a book, um, which has a different name, but uh, this is Sweet Hostage, 1975. Uh, Linda Blair still, I guess, a big star from, you know, Exorcist, which I don't mind her, uh, Linda Blair, I'm not familiar much with her stuff from that movie, um, which I will admit I'm not really a fan of The Exorcist. Um, I respect what it did back in the day, but now like it's kind of really a boring movie if you think about it. I think The Babadook's way scarier, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, it's basically an escape mental patient guy played by uh, Martin Sheen, um, a young Martin Sheen, uh, he kidnaps a illiterate teenage farm girl and takes her to his mountain hideaway uh, cabin where they become friends and eventually lovers, which, <laughs> you know, like these type of movies where they're Oh, I'm gonna kidnap this person and then make them fall in love with me, I guess. Or they, throughout the process or period of them kidnapped, and oh, uh, I like you all. Just, I, I mean, I get, I guess that does in real life. I guess that does happen where somebody. I looked at this as like a Joker and Harley Quinn type thing, where what if that was like real, more realistic take on. You know, Harley Quinn. So this is kind of more darker a bit, where if Harley Quinn was like a, what, she's supposed to be 17 here? Um, of course, I think Linda Blair at this time, 75, thinks she was 16. Um, but if, like, Harley Quinn was like a teenager and the Joker just randomly, you know, kidnapped a random person and she just happened to be, it happened to be Harley, and, you know, he, Pretty, it would st still be like the comics where he's getting into her head, but I don't know, I, I, I looked at this as like a realistic take on Joker, Joker and Harley Quinn. I mean, the, I mean Martin Sheen who plays this mental patient guy, escapee, who addresses himself as like a king <laughs> at the very beginning. And the music in this movie is, I mean, I guess it's a TV movie, but. I mean, some of the music in this I didn't really understand. I mean, I guess I guess it sort of went with, you know, his character and what was going on where he's, you know, he's supposed to be royalty or whatever. Um, I Now, the book is a bit different, I believe. I mean, it's still the same as this, I bet, uh, a bit, or the same, I guess. But, like, I think the book was way more um, informative on some stuff. I mean, Linda Blair, she plays a, a young teenage girl who, a farmer who wants to, I guess, do more with her life, or, I guess, her parents aren't really that great, and home life's not that great, so, he picks her up at one point after he escapes, and, um, he kidnaps her, and she does try to escape at some points, but then, she slowly starts to... I liked... Okay, the so stuff I liked in this. The acting from Linda Blair and Martin Sheen, I liked a lot. Um, I did like their conversa their back and forth conversations. Where he's sort of... Te he's like teaching her... He's like correcting her on her grammar and stuff, which I thought was funny. Um, but everything else, like the... I mean, it's a TV movie, so like it's not you know, high-budgeted film quality, but I didn't mind it. I thought it was a decent watch, and I was having an okay time watching it. Um, the other stuff with, like, the... I mean, he's going back into town and buying her stuff, and then eventually they catch on. Oh, he bought a uh, curtain pattern or something at the mom bought years ago or whatever, so the, the store clerk catches on to, oh, he must be the kidnapper, and, um, 
eventually by the end, like, she's into him, and he's into her. Now, we don't really get much, we don't really know much about this guy, Hatch, even though, like, at the beginning, like, they show him in a uh, mental asylum or whatever. But that's all we really know about him. I mean, he mentions he was married, but, like, he mentions that he killed his wife, but then he says in his mind he killed her. So, we're not really, was he even really married? Like, <laughs> so I guess I sort of liked that, but then, I think in the book they go into more detail a bit with stuff. Um, I don't know if the book is war is more darker than what the movie showed because like there, there's points where Linda Blair's like in the river taking a shower or whatever, and he catches her and then he runs off and then he apologizes. So he's I can't really say you feel for the guy because he again he kidnapped this girl and is statutory up in in that cabin because at by the end is like. <laughs> You know what? They're gonna get us. So why? How about, how about we just, uh, you know, and they do, and you know, so. But yeah, overall, the movie, it was a fine watch. I didn't mind it. I thought, you know, the acting was good. Martin, uh, Martin Sheen, um, I thought his over the top, frantic, you know, acting a bit with this as this guy. I thought was somewhat comical, but. Kind of scary, because, like, you don't know when he's going to wig out, as Hogarth would say. Don't wig out! Um, Linda Blair, again, I liked their dynamic in this. It's shot fine. Um, again, the music, I would say, is a bit, eh, after school special type stuff. Uh, kind of enchanting a bit. Like, a generic kind of TV movie, like, if it was, um, after school stuff, but yeah, overall I liked it, um, I would say give it a watch if you're a fan of Linda Blair's early stuff, this isn't really a, it's not like her horror horror stuff, but I would say this is a interesting, um, flick a bit, I would say read the book though, cause I get, I, I want, it makes me want to read, seek out the book, like what's the difference with the book in the movie? Is the book more darker? But, uh, yeah. So next time, take care. Please, uh, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, oh, if anybody would like to request any video reviews, movie reviews, uh, commentaries, reaction videos, uh, links down below for my Patreon or PayPal. But, uh, yeah, I have Instagram and Snapchat. 